Hello, hello, I am back again for my last video for this tutorial series. And I'm just quickly going to show you how to import all of our animations and models into the project that Octavian created in the last part. Um, so I am here in the project in Unreal Engine 5.3. And the first thing I want to do is to enable the content drawer so that I can actually see the folders that I'm importing stuff to. So I'm just going to do that by clicking content drawer in the bottom left. Then I'm going to go into the tutorial folder that was created in the last part. And then we want to go into art. And the first thing I want to do is go into the mannequins folder and meshes and then just rename the mannequin so we can easily find it. So I'm just going to select it and press F2 to rename and then call it Skel for skeleton and then UE5 mannequin and press enter. And this is just so we can easily find it because there's also a UE4 mannequin in this project. So it could be a bit confusing if we have two skeletons when we import animations. Just gonna give this a moment to, to think about life. All right. And now, since we are creating a first person shooter, we need a character mesh that only has the arms. Because if we check these uh, default uh, models here, you can see that it's a full body character. Anyway, so to import the arms, we actually have them in our uh, tutorial folder that you downloaded in the first video. So to import those, we can just right click anywhere inside the folder and choose import to. And then we get this window where I'm going to locate the meshes folder. So this is inside the tutorial files and then meshes and Manny. And I'm just going to go ahead and import this one, the SKFP, which stands for first person. So just select that and press open. And as we can see, it's already assigned to the correct skeleton by default. Um, I don't know why it looks like a material. That's an issue, but it should be fine either way because it is the correct one. So make sure you assign it to the UE5 mannequin and not to this one, because this is the UE4 mannequin. So we want to assign it to this one. And we don't need to import animations because it does not have any animations. So we can uncheck that. And then going down here to material, we do not want to search for anything. And we also don't want to create any new materials. And also we don't need any textures. And then press import. And we can go ahead and save that. And here we have the arms. So they look like this. It's just a mannequin with the body part removed. So it's just the arms. And we can also go ahead and set them as the default mesh. So let's open the skeleton. And here in the preview mesh, we can change it to the arms. And then just press apply to asset. And now this is going to be uh, the arms only. And then I'm going to go to the assault rifle folder. And I'm going to start by importing the gun or the, sorry, the assault rifle mesh. So going into the meshes folder and then import to. And then I'm going to the exported folder meshes. And I'm going to start by importing the assault rifle. So SK assault rifle, which is the rigged weapon. And we're not going to assign any skeleton to this because it doesn't have any in the project. So it has to create a new one. So let's just leave this as it is. And also here, let's not create any materials or textures. So keep these unchecked. And then import. 
And we can also delete the placeholder since we now have some files in the folder. And next up, I'm also going to import the casing and magazine. So just select both of these and open and import all. And we are going to get some warnings about these. And that's because the model by default has some, I think there's some overlapping vertices in the model, um, which can cause these warnings. But it's, again, it's nothing horrible. We can just ignore these for now because it won't really affect anything. Cool. So we can leave these for now and move on to the animations. So I'm going to open the animations folder and delete the placeholder. And then I'm going to import and go to the exported animations folder. And here we have all the character animations that we created and also the two weapon animations or the gun rig animations. So I'm going to select all of the character animations first and import them. And as the skeleton, I'm going to assign the UE5 mannequin. And then just press import all. And let's give this some, a little bit of time to load. And that's going to import all of our animations, as we can see here. And we can preview them, we can check them out, make sure everything looks fine. Um, and that it works. And next up, I'm going to import the gun animations too. So going to the same folder and selecting only the last two that has web in the name. And for this one, I'm going to assign the assault rifle skeleton. And then import all. And now if we open these, we can check that they are working and we can see that they are being animated. This is the magazine floating around here. And in the fire animation, it should be moving the bolt and the trigger, which it is. We can also check one of these animations to make sure that it looks good. It seems to be playing perfectly. To get a nicer preview, we can also add the gun inside here as a preview mesh. So I'm just going to right click on IK handgun and add a preview asset and then search for the assault rifle and just assign it like that just to make sure that the bone, uh, that the gun bone is moving correctly as well. And I'm also going to go back here and rename this one to Skell Assault Rifle, just to kind of stick with that same naming convention. And I'm also going to rename this one to PA SK Assault Rifle which stands for Physics Asset uh, Skeletal Mesh Assault Rifle, just to keep it uh, consistent. And finally, I'm going to go to Textures. And we are going to import the texture that is included in this folder. So Textures Assault Rifle. And delete the placeholder. And now we need to apply this texture to a material. So let's go back to the materials folder and delete the placeholder. And then we can right click in here and choose material. And I'm going to call this one M underscore assault rifle. You can also call it M underscore weapon or gun or something like that. Um, because this material is like a the, the main material that we're going to be basing every other gun material on. So this is like the, like a master material, I guess you could call it. So let's open that and then right click inside here and search for a texture sample. And inside this one, we are going to assign our assault rifle texture. 
like so, and then just hook it up to the base color. And we can also turn this into a parameter and call it, uh, we can call it diffuse or just base texture or any kind of name that you want really. And when turning this into a parameter, we can actually edit this later on in the, uh, in the child materials. And I'm also going to add some settings for the metallic and roughness. So I'm going to right click again and choose or search for constant. And also convert this to a parameter and call this one intensity uh, metallic. And I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and renaming this one to Intensity Roughness. And we can set the default values to 1 for now. And then just hook up the Metallic to Metallic and the Roughness to Roughness. And you can see that it's going to change the look of the material which is okay because we're going to modify that later. Um, so make sure you press apply and save that. And now we want to create a material instance based on this one. And the reason we're doing this is because material instances are a bit more performant and they're quicker to edit if you want to cha make any changes to the look of the material. So right click on this one and choose create material instance. And I'm just gonna call this one MI underscore assault rifle, which stands for material instance in this case. And then I can enable these um, settings that we created and just kind of tweak them to get a better um, to get the look we want. So I want this to be a bit more shiny, perhaps a bit more metallic. So I'm just going to tweak these values here until I feel... Uh, until they look good. Okay. And now I'm going to go back to the meshes again and I'm going to assign this material to these uh, models here. So I'm going to start with the, the SK Assault Rifle. And down here in the material slot, I'm going to search for Assault Rifle. And just assign the one we just created, the instance. And that's going to give our uh, weapon its correct colors. You can kind of check it out in different lightings to make sure that it has the look you're going for. And I'm also going to open these two and do the same thing. I'm going to assign the assault rifle material and make sure that it looks good. No issues and also for the casing assigning the assault rifle material all right and that's pretty much it for the importing part we have the textures models materials and all of our animations that we've created so far all right i hope you found that useful and now I'm going to pass it on to Octavian, who's going to show you guys how to set up the character and the code and uh, make it do all kinds of cool things like shooting and reloading and all that good stuff. All right, guys. See you.